Now, you're done with the flame, which is genius. We can turn that off so that we don't die. Now, let's move this over. Now we begin the actual procedure. First thing you do is you add what's called crystal violet. Crystal violet is a general purpose stain. It is um, purpley blue in color. And you just put it right over the surface of your both cells, okay? Don't be shy, that's enough, but you don't have to go crazy. That's all you need, okay? Um, and uh, you let this sit for 30 seconds to a minute or so. Um, and what this is doing is penetrating the interior of the bacteria. And the bacteria, if we looked at them under the scope right now, would be all dark purple. They'd be the color of crystal violet, both gram-negative organisms and gram-positive organisms. And they'd look the exact same. So now what you're going to do, um, once those are done, or the, or the point of the gram stain is, gram-negative cells have a thin cell wall, and it's very pliable, and it's got lots of air in between the, the pethylglycan layers that come together. In the gram-positive, it's much tighter. In the gram-negative, it's much more open. Now, you're done with the flame, which is genius. We can turn that off so that we don't die. Now, let's move this over. Now we begin the actual procedure. First thing you do is you add what's called crystal violet. Crystal violet is a general purpose stain. It is um, purpley blue in color. And you just put it right over the surface of your both cells, okay? Don't be shy, that's enough, but you don't have to go crazy. That's all you need, okay? Um, and uh, you let this sit for 30 seconds to a minute or so. Um, and what this is doing is penetrating the interior of the bacteria. And the bacteria, if we looked at them under the scope right now, would be all dark purple. They'd be the color crystal violet, both gram-negative organisms and gram-positive organisms. And they'd look the exact same. So now what you're gonna do, um, once those are done, or the, or the point of the gram stain is gram negative cells have a thin cell wall and it's very pliable and it's got lots of air in between the, the pethylglycan layers that come together. In the gram positive, it's much tighter. In the gram negative, it's much more open, okay? The crystal violet, once we add the little alcohol to it, should be able to be washed out freely from those gram negative cells because it'll go through those, those openings, okay? it should be retained by the gram positive because the gram positives are tighter with their peptidoglycan. Now to make sure that happens, you add the next step, which is what's called a mordant, okay? A mordant is something that attaches to another molecule and makes it bigger, essentially. In this case, you use what's called um, Graham's iodine, okay? It's a special iodine solution. Um, and all you do, you could wash this stuff off. I don't, I tend to just tip it over and I take my, I wash it off with my iodine. Take my iodine and rinse it off a little bit. And then grab my iodine and just go ahead and flood the surface. And what that's doing is binding with the crystal violet and making the crystal violet bigger. And as the crystal violet's bigger, it's gonna have a much, much less of a chance of it going out of the gram positives, but it'll still go out of the gram negatives and we add our alcohol. So let that sit for a little bit. Uh, now, one thing I forgot to get, mostly because I don't see any laying around in the lab and I can't go to a different place right now because the, the campus is going crazy, is you need water to do this because you want to wash off. Once we put the de-stain on, you want to wash it off quickly. I'm just going to use some good old bottled water. Um, what you'll use will be a squirt bottle, which will be much easier, much easier to control, okay? But in any event, this next step is the most important. Each of these steps you wait in about a minute. The next step is the most important, the de-stain step, and that's using this acid alcohol, okay? Acetone and ethanol. Why is it important? Because you're going to be washing out the crystal violet from the gram negatives, and you're gonna be washing out the excess crystal violet from the gram positives. But if you de-stain too long, 
you can still make a gram positive look gram negative. In other words, it'll still remove the, the crystal violet. Okay, the gram negative, it should remove it like that. But the gram positive, it should take a while. So how do you know how much, gram, how much D stain to add? What I do is I hold this little guy up on its edge and I add this stuff drop wise and let it slide down the slide and go off the edge. And I look at the edge and I watch it. The first thing you'll see is a bunch of burst of beautiful blue purple with this extra crystal violet being washed off. Then it'll start to get clearer and clearer. I keep adding this basically drop wise or delicate stream wise until I don't see much color change on the end of the slide. So let me let me demonstrate. The important thing though is to have some water handy because once you sh once you're done doing this, you should uh, wash off this stuff quick because it'll keep destaining otherwise. So let's see if I can show you this. I'm gonna tip this over, and when I add this crystal violet, a lot of let's see, I don't know if you can see this or not, a lot of blue is flying off of there. It's quite beautiful. And I just keep doing that until the end is relatively clear. In this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to quickly, if not sooner, rinse this with water because it's de-staining right now. I don't want to de-stain. Now, again, you're not going to do this. You're going to use a water, you know, something good. This is stupid. I'll tell you right now, I've never done this before. That's pretty moronic. But it got the job done. I'm the MacGyver of microbiology. Oh, you're all too young to know who MacGyver was. Ah, oh, the mullet. Um, so now, if you looked at these little guys, what you'd see are gram-positive cells right now. Everything's been de-stained. Gram-positive would still maintain their crystal violet. They should look purple under the microscope. Gram-negatives, on the other hand, what do you think they'd look like? Okay, They were purple. You washed everything out. What do you think is going to happen? I'll give you a few moments to think of that. This is royalty free music. Okay. The gram negatives would be clear, all right? Because you washed off all the crystal violet out of them. But the gram positives should maintain their crystal violet and be purple. So now, how are you going to, if you put this under the microscope, you'd see our gram positives, but you wouldn't see any gram negatives, or it would be very difficult to see. What do you do? Well, you counter stain with this other thing called eh, safranin, which is red. Okay, so you take your safranin, and the safranin is going to go everywhere where there's an opening, which with our gram negatives is their whole little bodies. The gram positives still have crystal violet in them, so the safranin is not going to penetrate them, or at least not as well. So what we hope is our gram negatives, when we wash this off and look under the microscope, are pink, pink red, okay? And our gram positives are blue purple. That's the result we're getting. And in this case, bacillus, you well know what that gram stain should be if you watched other videos and did your little homework. You should also know what um, uh, micrococcus is, okay? Um, and in this case, um, what we'll do is we'll go look under the microscope and see Although I got to figure out how I'm going to show it to you because I don't have the right camera stuff available, but we'll see. I'm going to go take a look at these and see what happened, and I'll I'll try to let you know. It's very important because what it does it tells you a lot about the organism. It tells you that the gram negative has an LPS layer. It tells you that the gram positives have tycholic acid. You know about the, 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 the wall structure, and we talk about that in class. You're going to know immediately, oh, if it's gram negative, it's one thing. If it's, gram, if, it's, if, it's a, if it's gram positive, immediately you know what the wall structure is like. And that's important for things like treatment, what kind of antibiotics you can use, etc. So it's very important to know how to do a gram stain.